To everyone watching this, you all already know what I'm gonna do if you really know me. You got it right! My place of birth. The one and only Bosnia and Herzegovina. And some of you might be thinking to yourselves, is that like Asia, Africa, Scandinavian Peninsula, somewhere near Antarctica? For those of you that don't know where Bosnia is, it is situated in the Balkan Peninsula in southeastern Europe with Croatia on its left side and Serbia on its right side. One of my favorite things about Bosnia has to be the people that are there. Everybody is always willing to help one another. In terms of talking about places and sites in Bosnia, my all-time favorite is downtown Sarajevo, also known as the Bascharsia. The Bascharsia contains as many shops as you can think of. It ranges from souvenir shops to antique shops to coffee shops to ice cream parlors, not to mention all the types of food you can get on the Bascharsia. You've got your gyros, you've got your pizza, you've got your pita, your cevapi, all located in the same area. Living in America, I never get to hear the Ezan, which is the call to prayer every single night. And when I'm in Bosnia, I constantly hear it every night. And to me, it's important because it is my religion, it is who I am, and it sounds a little bit like this. The amount of sights you get to see in Bosnia is unbelievable. One of my favorites being castles. Castles? What? Travnik Fortress is by far the best castle I've ever been on. Even though I've been on like, what, two castles in my entire life? Travnik Fortress is engulfed by beautiful mountains and has been around ever since Bosnia's medieval times and was conquered by Sultan Mehmed II. Top left corner stands the castle of Pochitele that was also built in Bosnia's medieval times by King Tvrtko I. If you want to enjoy some crystal clear waterfalls with the occasional snake in them, 40 kilometers south of Mostad you will find one of the most beautiful and biggest waterfalls in Bosnia called Kravice. Kravice makes me proud of where I'm from because it is so well known across the globe and especially in Europe. Moving on from talking about all the fun stuff that I get to do, the reason why Bosnia is so close to my heart is because I have so much family spinning from my mom's side to my dad's side. This is my great-grandmother from my father's side. She had nine kids, who then had kids, so that just leaves me to have so much family just from one of my dad's sides. I have so much family that there's some people that I don't even know about. Like when we're in Bosnia, my parents will be like, hey, we're going to so-and-so's house. And I'm like, who's that? And then I get there and they're like, Gdje si mala? Nisam te vidjela od kad si se rodila. Which translates to, what's up little girl? I haven't seen you since you were born. And I'm just like, who are you? All jokes aside, it's so reassuring to know that I have so much family from both my mom's and dad's side. Bosnia was in a war with Serbia from 1992 to 1995. One of the worst events to occur in the war was the Srebrenica genocide in which 8,372 plus men and boys were murdered. Bodies of men and boys that were murdered in Srebrenica are still having their bodies exhumed out of mass graves till this day. My grandfather's remains still haven't been found 23 years later. Despite all the pain, the anger, we will never forgive or forget Srebrenica. My all-time favorite thing is the fact that Bosnia unites. We are a small country on the globe that has been through a lot, but when the people come together and celebrate things like our success and victories just makes us unstoppable. And all these things combined is what makes me proud of who I am and where I'm from.